Well, good morning. Um, I understand this is a career options class. You're talking, you're trying to decide what you want to do with the rest of your life. Well, good luck. Uh, I suspect what you're going to find is, is uh, as Mary and I have found, is that over the course of, uh, of your work life, your careers and the things that you do are probably going to change considerably. Uh, I started out as a, uh, as a television journalist. I worked for uh, CBC uh, Television for uh, more than 20 years in different parts of, uh, of the country. Uh, I still do a bit of television uh, television work on a freelance basis. Um, we lived in uh, Ontario and in Manitoba and then back to Ontario and then to Prince Edward Island uh, in 1993. And Mary has had even more careers than, uh, than, than I have. And, uh, I started out in the banking industry and then uh, went to Revenue Canada, still finance, and then I didn't see myself working in uh, with government for a long period of time, and so I started my entrepreneurship career, and I created a company called Step Savers, which I actually did shopping for senior citizens and and the working mother in that in the Burlington, Ontario. Then I went into the arts, and uh, then uh, did a. a uh, course on uh, creating jobs in the arts um, so that you had weavers and uh, pottery makers and stained glass people. I worked, created my own business through eBay for five years working with antique dealers and for the last ten years we have been working uh, with our bed and breakfast which is on the opposite side of your car that you have there. And so we're going into our 10th year there. And experience PI started six years ago. So we, we got into the tourism uh, business uh, almost by mistake. Um, we were, uh, if I, in my television side of, of things, uh, I, was, uh, I was producing independent documentaries. Uh, and I was in Toronto. We had seen this, this house, it's a 100-year-old farmhouse on Prince Edward Island, uh, but when we saw it, it was uh, uninhabitable. You could not live in it. There was no heat, no water. Uh, the, uh, nothing, nothing worked in the, uh, in the house. It had been pretty much abandoned for a while. And uh, I was in Toronto and meeting with uh, Home and Garden Television, and I was pitching them some ideas on some television uh, shows, and uh, I wasn't I wasn't being successful with the ideas that I was pitching to them until I came and I said, well, what about a television documentary about a couple who have always dreamed of running a bed and breakfast by the ocean, and they found an old dilapidated farmhouse, and they're going to restore it, and we'll follow them from purchase through to the serving of the first breakfast. And the